Hi everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to part three in my Christmas series for 2017. Today I'm here in the pink bedroom and I'm going to begin the process of putting up the tree and the decorations in this room. Um, I'm going to try to change it up a little bit but I have such an overwhelming amount of pink stuff that uh, I really don't not want to use it, uh, but I was trying to think of a different way to do that. So stay tuned and follow that process with me, and I'll be right back with you really soon. Okay, so here's the tree that I chose to use in this room, and I wasn't going to use it this year, but um, as you can see, this was a tree that we had, and I spray-painted this pink. I just used regular pink spray paint but because it was a dark green you know if I would suggest to you if you wanted to do this I would um, actually either start with a white tree if you wanted to make it pink or just buy a pink tree but um, if you have a green tree and you want to make it a color uh, I really should have spray painted this white first and then spray painted the pink on top because what happens is the green you can see right there it actually it gets so dark it actually almost looks black but because I put so many things on the tree, you really don't see it. Now, the light, there are pink lights on this tree. See, that one is pink, but you really can't see it in the video. I don't know why. And then the uh, white light. So I have pink and white lights on the tree. I didn't want to use it here because I've used it a few times in this room in the past. And I wanted something different. But um, I'm just going to make it work. Uh, because I have so many uh, pink things. I did a project once, and um, I just have the, uh, a tremendous amount of pink. Now, uh, uh, you can see this is just, there's a bin full of these things, but uh, this is not it. This is just some of them. Uh, I have these faceted pink, and I have these uh, shiny pinks, and then I have these butterfly pinks, and I have um, angel pinks, which um, I cannot find right in this bin. They must be in the other bin. Then I have a, um, a, a ton of... Uh, this pink and white and silver uh, deco mesh and I think what I'm going to do on this tree is I'm going to use these angels uh, they have the birthstones on them but I think it's going to make the tree look more white than anything which is what I am planning to do and then filling it with those they're not really pink I should stop seeing pink because they're really like a hot really hot pink uh, like a, almost like a fuchsia and then I have these these are great these are really sparkly and I'm going to use these in the topper and then I'm going to use these as extensions on the sides of the tree just to make it a little bit bigger and then I have some silver accents as well so um, I think I'm going to get started first by placing these on the um, outside of the tree like like that to make an extension and I'll show you that as soon as I do that okay I shut the lights off so you can see what I did so you see I just I use those as extensions to this tree to make it wider and as well to give it some kind of um, like you know like a mystical kind of a look let me turn the lights on for a second Okay, so these are really, uh, these leaves are like really, I don't know what to say, glitzed up, I guess. They're very uh, glittery and they, in addition, have sequins on them. So they really pick up a lot, a lot of light. So as you move and you look at the tree, everything is kind of glistening. All right, next I'm going to work on the topper. Um, I did the topper, so what is, I had this, it's the same coloration, the same kind of leaf, but this is more of a cascading uh, pick, and it has, you can't, it has these like flowers on it, but you really can't tell because it's so much uh, glittery stuff, so I put that on the top, kind of in, the, you know, like a, I don't know, it almost looks like an umbrella, kind of, um, but it won't when I put more stuff on the tree. And then I added in the silver uh, glittery fern kind of picks as well, just to break up all of that uh, fuchsia a little bit. Right? So that's the top. I shut the light off just so you can get a better look at it. Um, I think next I'm going to have to put the 
angels on first before I do anything else so I can place them the way I want them and then I'll fill in with all the ornaments. All right, so let me update you and show you where I'm at so far. Uh, just so I don't miss a layer with you, I decided to put some of that deco mesh ribbon uh, into that tree just to fill it out a little bit. You can see I, I just came in and out. I really kind of pushed it into the tree just to give it a little bit more full fullness and that glistening that um, you know I'm looking for to make it look more mystical looking. And then I uh, put on all of these angels on here. Now, um, I know someone is going to ask me where I found these angels, and I found them in a little shop um, a long time ago, and I've recently seen them in uh, national brand liquidators. I don't know if you have any of those in your area, but I did spot them there. Um, I don't know the. I think they were like uh, they're not really expensive. They were like two ninety nine a piece or something like that that I saw them. I think um, I may have paid more for them when um, I first found them. And I'm talking about uh, it's a while back. And I've been using them. I'm shifting them from place to place in different rooms and whatnot. But um, so so this year you can see it is here on this tree and. Um, See how all of a sudden that tree is starting to get really full, right? Because it kind of looked Charlie Brownish. <laughs> all right. Uh, Marianne always laughs when I say that it looks like a Charlie Brown tree. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? You've seen a Charlie Brown Christmas, the tree with the three branches on it. And then the kids decorate it, and all of a sudden it looks great. All right, so I'm going to start putting some ornaments in the background of this tree just uh, to fill it up and to add some glisten. So here's where we're at so far. Um, you see what I've done is I've kind of like really loaded the tree up with these uh, the same color that fuchsia um, ornament where uh, some of them are glittery, some of them are flat, some of them are faceted because they pick up different color lights and then to break that up I have a little bit of the silver in here. Same thing, they're different uh, tones or um, you know some are matte, some are glittery and whatnot and it just fills up the tree and um, you know when you're loading like this just when you think you have, you've had it uh, you find another spot for something and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk away from it right now because I'm sure when I come back in I'm going to find additional spots that I want to put some stuff uh, so again it, it's so hard to see how this really looks in person it's um, and, and also, if you put a tree in front of a mirror like this, it's you have to be very, um, you know, observant of what's going on in the mirror because when someone stands to look at the tree, they're going to look at the reflective properties of the tree as well. I mean, it's great because it kind of doubles the tree, but you have to, you know, be prepared to also decorate back there. So, once again... Um, Here's the tree so far. Um, the next thing I'm, you know, I'm going to do around this room, and then at the end of the video, when I go over everything I've done, you might see some different things on the tree. I don't know yet. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I added in these little glittery uh, poinsettias as well, just to uh, cover up some spots. All right, I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so here we are in the pink room, and. Take you through a little tour. Just some white branches, a little bit of pink and white deco mesh in there. Give it some sparkle. What I did here was I used two wreaths, two lighted wreaths, at the base of this angel and this pink Santa. Nice and loaded up with angels and pink picks and ornaments. And On the bed, a little basket, a 
with some Merry Christmas towels. Look at that. They're pink. <laughs> Some wreaths on the window. Bring that light and sparkle to the opposite side of the room. And this old fashioned basin with pitcher filled with bubbly pink ornaments. A piece of garland with some more ornaments. Okay, everyone, so that brings us to the end of part three in my series for Christmas 2017. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my series for Christmas 2017. I have a lot more coming up. And um, like always, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And see you all soon. Take care, everybody.